Tasmanians are gambling less than at any other time over the past five years. The Gaming Commission's annual report has revealed gambling spending fell markedly last year. The federal group has blamed tough new regulations governing its casinos for a 14% drop in poker machine takings. It's welcome news for anti-pokey campaigners. Tasmania's poker machine spend dropped by nearly $15 million last financial year. Um, we're pleased that there is less money going into gaming in Tasmania. Tasmania's two casinos lost $13 million in poker machine revenue. There's no doubt it's been a, uh, a tough year, last financial year. The federal group has blamed the new mandatory code of practice brought in by the Gaming Commission. More than 60 regulations were introduced last year. In particular, some of those impacted on um, the way that we can relate to our customers, particularly our more loyal customers. Welfare groups are still pushing for tougher measures. This is not an end point, it's an excellent first step and we hope to see more positive steps along the pathway to addressing problem gambling. We do need to make sure that the problem gambling services continue to be funded, that we continue to do community education work. The federal group has warned more red tape will make its casinos uncompetitive. Tasmania's uh, regulations are the strictest in the nation, uh, particularly with regard to casinos. Despite the drop in poker machine spending, there's now growing concern over online and sports betting. The issues of problem gambling can exist in all those spheres, so we need to be continually uh, investigating and researching to better understand how to alleviate the issue of problem gambling wherever it's found. Particularly if it's found behind closed doors. Jonathan Gould, ABC News.